Hello and welcome back to another new edition of Windows and Current Affairs. And today, of course, n uh, nobody in Egypt would be talking about nothing but the major event, uh, the, which is the Golden Pharaohs Parade and what is associated with this particular huge uh, grand event. Hilar is uh, something that caught the eyes of the whole world, uh, that all the media outlets were, was, was, were talking about. And, of course, something that is even equally important to that major event, which is the new location of the mummies, which is the National Museum of Egyptian History. Of course, that particular place is another story in its own right. Of course, the whole world w w was focusing over the uh, mummies that were transferred from Tahrir Square all, uh, uh, all the way down uh, to downtown Cairo, al Fustat, uh, to the National Museum of uh, uh, Egyptian Civilization. But really, there wasn't enough focus over that particular huge uh, museum uh, which would catch your eyes. I was uh, 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 talking before uh, air uh, with my uh, uh, dear guest, uh, uh, who we, uh, I'm going to talk to in a few seconds, about uh, even the um, uh, space that is uh, provided there, the location, the geographical location, the importance, the activities, everything that is associated with the National Museum of uh, uh, the National Museum of Egyptian Civilization would really uh, catch your attention and catch admiration. We're very delighted to be having uh, a prominent guest here with me, uh, Mr. Mahrouz al Sanadili. He is chief uh, creator of National Museum of Egyptian Civilization, and he is also a PhD researcher in heritage and museum studies. And uh, good evening, uh, Mr. Sanadili. And let me first congratulate you or greet you over the arrival of the very, very uh, uh, famous or popular. Uh, worldwide mummies, Egyptian mummies, that arrived uh, at your uh, very precious museum uh, uh, earlier on Saturday. Good evening and thank you for this intro introduction. And I am happy today to talk about uh, the National Museum of Egyptian Civilization. Of course, and we're very it's eager. Especially it was opened by the President Abdel Fattah Sisi in last uh, Saturday. Uh, yes. In the prison, uh, in the prison, uh, prison, in prison uh, and uh, in attendance of uh, the Prime Minister, uh, Dr. Mustafa Madbouli and Dr. Khalid Al Anani, the Minister of Tourism and Antiquities, and in uh, attendance of uh, the Director of UNESCO and Director of uh, World Tourism Organization. And it was a great event uh, witnessed by Egyptian and uh, all the world and witnessed that Egypt is a great country and uh, has a great uh, history. Mm. For, uh, and so it is uh, a good uh, witness uh, for us that we have uh, a great civilization, a great history. Of and course, uh, we're going we're gonna to talk about that step by step, but let me first uh, uh, remind, uh, take a flashback uh, uh, into uh, last week's or last Saturday's uh, huge event that stunned the whole world, as we can see it over here, the Golden Fairs uh, Parade and all the uh, shows that w were associated with that uh, uh, parade, all the way down to Al Fustat, which is another beautiful area. Uh, over, uh, um, are we going to show now uh, something uh, that is related to the parade in a few moments? Okay, let's go to see some uh, pick of the parade and we'll come back to you.
Welcome back and still with our dear guest, uh, uh, Chief Creator of National Museum of Egyptian Civilization, uh, uh, of course, uh, Mr. Mahmouz Al Sanadili. And let me tell you that he was on top of the team who created what you saw right now or what we saw on Saturday. They hosted that celebration, part of it, of course, as uh, one part was at Al Tahrir. A museum at Tahrir Square and the rest of it or the base of it, the foundation of it was at the National uh, Museum of Egyptian uh, Civilization in Al Fustat, which is uh, the location that amazed your hearts and uh, the scenery and everything is in that museum, right? Right, right. So tell so us about it. How did you receive that? How, what was the spirit? Because it was we, the viewers, we. I, I, it's unspeakable, the spirit and the, uh, what we felt watching that uh, magic that night was unbelievable, unspeakable, we couldn't describe it in words. So talk to us about the preparations and the spirit of your team back then at that time on Saturday. So uh, at first uh, it was a dream to see this event and the action mm -hmm. and to show that Egyptian still has a, a history, has a, a lot of uh, activity and skills for organization. And this, this event show us how Egyptian st can organize great uh, events. Uh, and this uh, uh, event was uh, produced and was uh, uh, covered by more 400 uh, international and national channels and about me and my colleague we who are working uh, we, we are we were working very hard uh, last for from uh, one year up to now uh, until uh, this uh, event uh, by uh, establishing a core exhibition and establishing a, a gallery for uh, mummies and so on and we organized everything inside the museum uh, by promotion, by banners, uh, and we, uh, we helped and supported the people who are organized, organized this uh, action by, by uh, shooting a film about uh, a museum, about the action while, I, while we are working uh, in exhibition and preparing uh, showcases and uh, uh, every steps uh, in exhibition uh, work is. Mm. Of course, uh, the whole world have seen your efforts. It came into action. It was not only something that we would hear about or be or told in, uh, um, uh, to, the, the, to be described by words, but into action. But let me uh, talk about the geographical location, which is very, very distinguished, of your museum, the museum that we're talking about. Talk to us about it. Uh, I have to talk at first uh, to our audience uh, about what What's the National Museum of Egyptian Civilization? Mm. National Museum of uh, Egyptian Civilization is a promising museum institution, a promising culture center, a promising scientific research center, a promising place for international and national dialogue, and a promising uh, touristic destination. Uh, for many reasons. Uh, the first reason, the geographical location. Our museum is located in Fustat, and Fustat is located in the heart of Cairo. And this part was a, a part of Maadi culture, and Maadi culture was one of the most famous culture in prehistorical time. And this culture was very famous for making pottery since uh, uh, 6,000 years, and up to now and this this craft is still uh, existing in uh, Fustat uh, as well the museum is near from uh, Papillion fortress from Roman time and mm. near from hanging church one of the oldest church in so Egypt. it is right in the middle of all those cultures yes yes mm. yes of course mm. 
and uh, also near from Amr ibn Las Mosque, mm -hmm. the oldest mosque in Egypt. Uh, and to north of our museum, there is a wall of Magra Layun from uh, Ayyubid uh, time. Mm -hmm. uh, and this uh, wall was uh, providing citadel with uh, water. And also, we can see citadel, Saladin citadel, uh, with its uh, archaeological and historical features. Is it uh, observed from over there? Yeah. Can yeah, I we see can, it? We can, mm. we can see. Mm. Uh, and we can see the mosque and the mausoleum of Imam Shafi. And uh, also our museum is looking, uh, over, is overlooking in uh, uh, Ain al-Sira uh, natural lake. Um, as also uh, from the top of our museum, we can see all landmarks of Cairo. We can see Giza pyramids. We can see Saqqara pyramids. Uh, we can mm. see uh, Cairo towers. Uh, we can see uh, Mukattam mountains with, with uh, features uh, and uh, some building uh, above this uh, mountain as uh, Guyushi, uh, Guyushi Mosque from Fatimid period. Mm -hmm. And this location is a good loca location uh, as, a, uh, as a representative for all Egyptian civilization right so the choice of the location was for all those reasons or <laughs> because of the space because course, we're going to talk course, about of course. the location and Ain uh, Sira later on because it's very important also it was totally renovated but the choice of the location was it on purpose of course uh, uh, I'd like to uh, mention that the first location of our museum should be uh, instead of uh, modern opera house, ba but uh, uh, this location moved to this area, but this area, uh, it is, uh, but this area, it's a best example and best location and the good location for uh, Egyptian civilization through the ages, uh, because as I forementioned a lot of sightseeing from different uh, civilization, from prehistorical period, from Pharaonic time, from Greek Roman time, from uh, Coptic, from Islamic, and modern uh, modern time. And we can see the tom tombs of royal family of Muhammad Ali from our museum. Uh, and we can uh, talk about the landscape around the museum. As well, uh, the museum uh, is very a uh, huge uh, museum. Uh, its size uh, is about 33 acres and contain uh, spaces about uh, more one 100,000 uh, square meters mm. for we're different... Go we're going to jump to that. Uh, um, remind me to go into that because also this is of a of uh, another important level but let me talk about the location because the location in its own right is very very significant if i'm not going to go to uh, take a look or overlook um, uh, 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 various cultures in egyptian history if i'm not planning to go and take uh, a look over the various cultures of egyptian history in that particular museum then i should go to overlook all those sites and those cultural uh, locations in Egypt yeah. so uh, the location and that's why you created spaces or created uh, different activities inside that uh, museum so that you could make the best use out of that location right it's right so we are organizing uh, many events and uh, many forums many training uh, and we try to engage our community around us mm. and if you look to this area before building our museum mm. uh, it was unbelievable uh, uh, this area it was um, a, a slim area uh, and surrounded by uh, uh, it was a little yeah. bit neglected just like anywhere yeah. else in the world yeah. But when the museum uh, started in this area, this area changed completely. But it was even before the, the development of the museum, let us give the government 
the current government uh, credit of developing and renovating because I've been there and seen it uh, the uh, whole area surrounding especially Ain Sira it's another uh, totally different a whole new level of a location that you could go and visit you can never believe that this is the old area which is also a huge achievement by the government but let us go back to the museum the museum in its own right has a very significant location then uh, it was decided that it could be uh, um, a venue over uh, cultural history of Egypt the different dynasties different uh, 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 ages uh, cultural ages in, 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 in ancient not in ancient because you don't like that particular description but for Egypt yeah and uh, one uh, one thing one of the most important thing mm. for this museum is displaying all Egyptian civilization is right I was going to ask you the question yeah, this. is Talk talking to me. about all civilization from more to two million years ago up uh, to now right uh, pa passing through what Quranic. exactly are you establishing inside if I need to go I as a visitor Egyptian visitor of course uh, yeah. tourists that's another story and uh, lucky them they have the whole vac a whole vacation it would take them a week to go and observe uh, what you're preparing or you have in store for every tourist who's coming over to see but let me talk about uh, uh, someone a local visitor who needs to take a look with his uh, family over the different uh, uh, cultural ages in history what have you prepared in store for the visitors to be able to um, reflect that history what do you have inside that museum the two so are uh, we have a certain plan for uh, exhibition uh, and we are collecting objects related to every civilization from everywhere from egyptian museum from coptic museum from islamic museum from greek roman museum from sites uh, in different places aswan luxor sakara giza delta uh, to express about different uh, civilization different culture and also we collect intangible heritage related to egyptian civilization uh, intangible heritage or oral uh, heritage or uh, traditional heritage uh, about custom tradition uh, in everywhere in Egypt in in Sinai in Nubia in Oasis in Delta in Upper Egypt uh, uh, and we, we are searching about creativity and skills and the knowledge of Egyptian through ages from two million years uh, up to now uh, as example, uh, we are displaying in our museum that we, we opened uh, last Saturday, uh, object from two million years, uh, is stone tools. And we would try to tell our visitors the story of uh, Egyptian life at that time. He created stone tools and developed these uh, tools. That is from the stone age? I, yeah, we can call Stone Age or prehistorical prehistorical period. Or the prehistorical yeah. dynasty. Yeah, before be, uh, before uh, dynasty. Mm, before uh, dynasty. Yeah, mm. yeah, it is extending from more two thousand three hundred uh, thousand years ago, uh, two thousand uh, two million three thousand uh, uh, to uh, three thousand one hundred BC, uh, mm. three thousand one hundred BC is the time of unification of mm. upper and lower Egypt. Mm. We talk about uh, how Egyptian developed uh, the stone tools from uh, people, uh, people stone to uh, hand axe to uh, micro or micro uh, stone tools uh, which he used in different uh, usage as um, a knife, uh, saw, sc uh, scrapple, uh, scrape uh, and arrows for hunting the uh, animals and we have a, a interesting uh, collection from different time and that time uh, plus we have a, a good collection from uh, culture from proto-dynasty cultures mm -hmm. as uh, Nakada culture 
there are many culture uh, before unification or before dynasties as Fayyum, uh, as Nakada, Marim Bani Salama, Dirtasa, Maadi, and so And we are displaying uh, a lot of artifacts. Mm, incredible. Exactly. But before we, we, we talk about this, I, I need to know the programs that you are, uh, uh, that you have created in that particular museum for to in, in order to be able to exhibit what you're talking about. Uh, you have, uh, for example, uh, created departments. Let me uh, say, you have, you have created uh, screens to be able to play documentaries, or how do you display that, or how you, do you exhibit that? And also, do you have people who uh, are uh, professional at uh, hosting the visitors and uh, explaining to them, or uh, usually the tourists are accompanied by the tour guides? I mean, if Egyptians or any other uh, people, visitors, normal visitors are coming. So yeah. am I supposed to be uh, uh, escorted by someone who could explain for me? Uh, should I be uh, watching documentaries? What type of programs inside and departments so are inside we that? We are ta targeting everyone mm. uh, from two years uh, forever. And, uh, for, uh, and we are uh, using different methods for mm. exhibition. We use the labels. We use the panels, we use the, the commentary film, you use the animation, tablet, graphic, uh, and the interactive screen, and the mobile application to show, to try to address with new generation. And we choose a new system for showcases, for uh, light system, uh, and a lot of, thing, a lot of uh, things which attract our uh, visitors and uh, uh, plus this we choose a masterpieces which he refer, refer to creativity skills and knowledge of Egyptian through a uh, through ages not uh, pre circle only uh, phronic uh, related to Greek Roman related to Coptic related to, uh, related uh, to Islamic uh, civilization, modern and contemporary. As example, we are displaying uh, uh, so, uh, tools for agriculture from 5,000 years ago. Uh, how uh, Egyptian invented these tools as uh, wooden axe, uh, wooden circles, uh, and uh, storage, and we talk about uh, make, making bread, or mm. bread ba making. We talk mm. about architecture, we, we talk about writing and uh, the right, uh, writing system in ancient The Egypt different and cultural and ages. And but about medicine, about leather, ab about leather uh, handwork, about mm. uh, textile handwork. Different uh, industries uh, also. And also we focus on creativity for ancient, uh, of Egyptian through ages. About, as example, and pioneering things or ideas uh, and uh, uh, pieces mm. and invention related to Egyptian. As example, we are uh, displaying one of the oldest uh, water watch in the world. Mm. Dates back uh, 3,000, uh, 3, uh, 350 years ago. Uh, it is uh, belonging to the king, uh, the, uh, king Amun Hotub III. And mm. we, uh, we display one of the oldest uh, artificial uh, uh, toe. Artificial. Right, but it, this, uh, explain to us the museum from inside, the different departments. Before air, we were talking about the different departments that you yeah. created inside. You have a theater, you have a movie theater also, uh, you have a screen, uh, I mean, uh, screens, different screens and um, plasma screens also. You have um, um, and, um, a library, and what exactly do you have inside it? How and did you create it? We are offering, uh, we are offering uh, different service, services and activities in our museum. We are offering uh, cultural uh, events. We have a, a theater hall with uh, 500 seats. Mm -hmm. We have uh, a cinema hall with 330 seats, and we are organizing uh, artistic uh, events and we are organizing a training, a training workshop 
uh, and we, we have uh, five uh, classes for museum education, lecture hall, and we are organizing a lot of events uh, with uh, national and international uh, uh, institution, institution and so on. Uh, and about uh, uh, our, uh, and we have uh, labs for conservation according to material. We have labs uh, for uh, wood, uh, for uh, textile, for manuscript, for metal, for uh, gla uh, glass, uh, for uh, different things, for uh, architecture elements, for restoration. Mm -hmm. And we have also a scientific research center equipped by uh, uh, the modern or the latest uh, devices and the machine. As example, we have labs for DNA, we have lab, uh, labs for uh, chemistry and the carbon-14 and the UV uh, and the microbiology and we have an oxia uh, machine to, uh, to clean and uh, san sanitizing, uh, to sanitize uh, the object when we are receiving the object. Mm. We should uh, insert inside some machine to uh, kill uh, bacteria and mm. insects and so called that anoxia. That may attack the mummies. Yeah. Let us go back to the mummies and all the artifacts, the very, very precious things that come from museums, from uh, the pharaoh's uh, dynasties. Uh, how do you deal with it and where do you have it inside the museum? Yeah. Of course, most of the visits are coming directly to see the mummies. Yeah, uh, the mummies is uh, distinguished uh, exhibition gallery in the National Museum of Egyptian Civilization for many reasons. Mm. And we have a, a quarantine uh, rooms or magazine to keep the mummies in good preservation. And this uh, quarantine uh, equipped by devices to uh, producing uh, nitrogen. And the nitrogen uh, uh, is a material to keep and preserve the mummies in good condition. And also about uh, the galleries, of mm. uh, the mummies galleries, so have is, oh. it, it is okay. equipped by special showcases. Uh, uh, provided with nitrogen, provided by um, monitoring uh, system to know to measure uh, temperature, to measure uh, humidity, uh, and also use uh, some sim some things as a simulation for um, the tombs in the Valley of the Kings. We try to to interactive with our visitors uh, to by giving them. Um, at the first simulation, uh, sim uh, we take a, uh, um, we give a, a, an imagination for v for visitors to imagine that he w is inside the valley of the king and inside one of the tomb in the valley of the king, and to imagine how ancient Egyptian uh, were burying the mummies and around the mummy and uh, we will add more so value you, you do you, i mean you display cultural uh, programs or movies uh, to be able to set awareness about uh, the history and uh, of uh, ancient egypt and and other uh, histories and especially the when when it comes to visiting the mummies you are also giving documentaries at the same time parallel to the visit of course. So that it would set awareness to the visitors about how ancient e Egyptians used to bury uh, uh, the, the, the people, the, uh, yeah, the, their deceased. Yeah, of mm. course. And also we, uh, we prepared uh, special things for the, visitor, the visitors of the mummy. We show CT scan for two kings. How uh, this king is were died, uh, mm. su uh, such as the king Seknenra. Seknenra mm. was died while uh, while he was fighting uh, against Hyksus, mm. uh, and so he was killed. And he was uh, so uh, by new CT scan shows us new evidence that this uh, king uh, tried to defend. 
himself mm. while the enemies was uh, were attacking um, him. Were, were attacking him and hit him and we found a lot of uh, uh, wounds uh, in, in his body and uh, this uh, uh, this mummy was examined by uh, Dr. Uh, Sahar Selim and uh, published a new research in uh, Natural Science magazine about this story. Uh, and this is a new thing for our visitors to know and he can explore by himself uh, in the museum gallery. Besides also uh, the mummy of King Ramses III Mm. Three also was examined by CT scan to show our visitors how this uh, king was died. Uh, also was died uh, in uh, plotting or conspiracy. Mm. And so we... So you play a movie also? A uh, movie and CT scan. You know, mm. CT scan radio mm. uh, to show the details inside the mummy. Mm. Uh, because the ancient Egyptian while... Uh, making embalming for the mummy, uh, was putting some things, amulets inside the body, and uh, we couldn't see by, by naked eye, uh, mm. but we, can, we saw uh, through CT scan. Mm. And I think this uh, new experience for our visitor when that we will see. That does not harm the mummy? When we, one, it, does not, it doesn't harm it? No. Mm. Uh, but <coughs> we try to give new experience for our visitors to, to explore by This himself. is accompanied by an escort who would uh, uh, do the explanation or uh, yeah. try to uh, accompany the visitors? Yes, uh, as this. So, but uh, uh, we, uh <coughs> we take a help uh, from different uh, association and professors uh, uh, for display and interpret interp to give interpreters new, uh, interpreter uh, interp mm. for to give new interpretation mm. for the antiquities and especially mummies uh, by using specialists in each field. In we each have field. yeah, we have a specialist in chemistry. We have a specialist in DNA. And we have a specialist in, in microbiology, in biochemistry, in botany, in zoology, and so. And this this uh, uh, enrich our knowledge and the inform information about our heritage. Uh, and so uh, we target new visitors, new audience, and. Even anyone wanted to study and to make research, stu uh, Egyptian student or students or foreign student would like to come to make research and examination for anything in our museum. He can make uh, his uh, experiment uh, in different labs, uh, and and I think uh, this um, new n new experience and new experiment in Egypt and in over world to try to link or relate the theoretical studies with application studies. Mm. Right. What other departments do you have besides the mummy departments? I mean, you should, do you have uh, uh, other departments that display ancient history in an exceptional uh, a modern way, like you, you talked to me about uh, uh, other departments that talked about uh, the uh, describing how Egypt flourished in agriculture and uh, uh, in, in different uh, ages uh, that followed agricultural uh, age and uh, all this stuff. Do you have new ideas that display that? Yeah, of course. Uh uh, our museum has uh, 23,000 uh, square meters for exhibition. Mm. Uh, now we, we opened uh, a core exhibition. Core exhibition is considered as an introduction for other themes that we will display in future. Mm. We, will, uh, we will prepare and establish um, a gallery about uh, Egyptian Indian of civilization, about writing, about Nile uh, River, about state and society, about beliefs and thinking, uh, about, uh, about material culture, 
and also about uh, empalming or mummification. Mm. So now we are displaying uh, mummies, but uh, before mummies we should display, make uh, exhibition and display about empalming, the process Process do, you have, do you have a program that talks about yeah, that? Yeah, we have a program for oh. that, but uh, this need a lot of money. Uh, and so it we it will needs funding, and of yeah, course. And we try, we try to start uh, step by step. We, as example, um, we opened um, a temporary gala gallery as a soft opening in 2017 uh, called uh, the Egyptian Crafts Through Ages. And uh, we the Egyptian? the Egyptian crafts crafts mm. yeah through the ages the and ages yeah we amazing idea yeah and we try to link uh, the museum with the community around uh, the museum uh, as example Fustat is famous for making pottery making textile and the near Fustat Khan al Khalil is famous mm. for making jewelry uh, and uh, there are different yeah, silver accessories. And there are many area in Egypt is famous for making uh, woodworking or carpentry uh, till Dumiat. And we try to to tell uh, Egyptian you have uh, a long history for this crafts from more uh, more ten thousand years ago. You have uh, experience. You have skills, and so and these skills. Uh, developed through ages and also refer to custom and tradition in each time and mm. uh, the Egyptian mind developed uh, uh, their self uh, according to new, new, new science, new instruction, new ideas, new thinking, what programs new, do you have new for culture that mm. uh, came to Egypt as in uh, Greek or Roman time. Right. So there are interaction uh, between uh, Egyptian civilization and mm. Greek Roman civilization and uh, exactly. Coptic, uh, Islamic, mm. and uh, also in modern time. And mm. we are displaying uh, uh, incredible object, uh, and each object uh, you can tell and talk about each object um, a lot of uh, many hours. Of course, and that's why. Uh, we would, uh, I would suggest that we would have another episode on a promise of you that you would come uh, with some uh, uh, footage with you uh, of, uh, inside of that uh, museum so that our viewers could see it. I was going to uh, talk to you about the programs, but I prefer to uh, bring our viewers uh, some of the best pics of that very, very special day, the uh, Golden Ferris Parade. Let's go and watch it and we'll come back to you.
Unfortunately, we uh, ran out of time. We had, uh, of course, like, uh, 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 of course, Mr. Mahrouz uh, just said, uh, we have still a lot to say about that very, very special day. And until the end of the world, and until the end of history, we still have to, a lot to say about that very unforgettable day, uh, a day that we will remember in history. It will, be marked, uh, it will be marked on the calendar of every country. It's have seen the grandeur of the hist rich history of Egypt and have uh, exhibited uh, one part of a fraction of what we own. We still own a lot. We still have a lot to uh, exhibit. Inshallah, very soon we will be stunning the whole world with more shows, better shows like that, uh, even uh, equally beautiful. Uh, with the uh, calibers uh, from uh, like uh, Mr. Mahrouz and all his team and uh, the administration of the National Museum of Egyptian Civilization in Al Fustat. Many thanks to them and uh, to all the people who participated in that uh, unforgettable event. Mr. Mahrouz Al Sanadili, you are chief creator of the National Museum of uh, Egyptian Civilization and you're also a PhD researcher in heritage and museum studies. Thank you so much. Thank you very much and I invite and congratulations. you. Uh, thank you very much for this con congratulation and I invite you of to course. shorten I our expected museum. that. I was waiting and, uh, to hear I that. I invite everyone uh, Egyptian or non-Egyptian to come of to course. visit us to enjoy with mm. us with uh, the location, with the exhibition, with the facilities that we, we have in our uh, museum. Mm. And uh, have a good luck. Inshallah. And uh, it's a real pleasure for us as Egyptians and for everyone who's coming to see Egypt or to uh, coming on a vacation to Egypt to go and see uh, the National Museum of Egyptian Civilization. If you have been to the uh, National Museum of Ancient Civilization uh, in New York, Manhattan, it is nothing, it's not even one quarter of the National Museum of Egyptian Civilization here in Egypt. Not because of uh, that we are Egyptians, but because we own uh, uh, real history, we own uh, a lot of ideas, and we own the mummies there. So uh, we would invite you to come and have a look over that uh, museum in El Fustat, downtown Cairo. Thank you so much, and uh, we would end it here with uh, this edition of Windows and Current Affairs. And until we see you again next week, that's a goodbye.